Well, some of us just cannot make it throughout the morning without a jolt of java. But did you know you can actually save hundreds of dollars a year if you bypass that local coffee shop and brew your own coffee at home? Pat Foran is here this morning to show us how you can get your caffeine fix without breaking the bank. Pat. Well, that's right, Jen. Well, coffee maker sales have actually been on the rise over the past year or two as people have been trying to save money. And you can pay hundreds of dollars for a coffee maker, but we found out you don't have to spend that much to get a great cup of coffee. Lots of people wouldn't think of giving up coffee, but a lot fewer people are buying their coffee out these days. In fact, sales at Starbucks are down 6%. I used to be Starbucks junkie and I was going every day and it just got to be too expensive. I usually make it at home because it does save me a little bit of money. Researchers just tested more than 50 coffee makers to find ones that do a good job and save you money. Our Brit test measures the coffee maker's ability to reach 195 to 205 degrees. This extracts the best flavor from the coffee. Testers looked at traditional drip coffee makers and brew stations too, which let you fill your cup directly from the machine. Prices range from $25 all the way to $285 for this Technivorm, heavily touted by coffee connoisseurs. The Technivorm did a sprue test, but it's not all that easy to use. The Technivorm has a lot of parts. It takes some patience to put together. And then you have to slide the carafe in the right spot or else it won't brew. And while the $185 Bun BTXB was fast, its brew performance was just mediocre. However, tests did find some good coffee makers for less. Gee, you need an engineering degree to put some <laughs> things right, lots together, of parts huh? on that one. Oh, okay, if you're willing to splurge a little, then what coffee maker, which one received the best ratings? Well, that's it. Well, actually, it's this one right here, and this is the Brew Central from uh, Cuisinart. This is a $120 coffee maker, and the, the researchers found uh, in the lab that this coffee maker for $120 was just as good or better than many of the coffee makers costing three or $400. Really? So that's a great buy if you're a coffee connoisseur and uh, you're willing to spend uh, 120 bucks. Okay, what if you're trying to save a little bit more and, and, and drink coffee on a bit more of a budget? That's right. Well, this one, you know, um, Jen, when they do the test, Black & Decker coffee makers have always come out uh, on top for value. And they did again, this Black & Decker coffee maker here, uh, model number DLX1050B, 25 what? bucks. What? 25 bucks, and it's got a clock. You can program it. It actually looks pretty cool on the countertop. So for just $25, you can make a pretty good cup of coffee, and it did very well in the test. You know, I think my husband spends 25 bucks at the... <laughs> a week. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say a day, the amount of caffeine <laughs> right. he goes through. All right, but what if you don't need 12 cups of coffee at one go? Sure, you can get one of these little ones. This one did very good. It's the Brew & Go from Black & Decker, mm -hmm. and it, also $25. And, you know, this will... It's also designed to actually fit oh. in your car on the way to work. I also should tell you that all of these two, Jen, are also, uh, you can program them so you can wake up in the morning and your coffee will be percolating away and be ready for you so you don't have to stumble around in the morning making it for 15 minutes. And waking up and just smelling it sometimes makes all the difference in the world, <laughs> That's right? right. And another thing, I get a little concerned when you're setting things and you're still asleep. Mm. These all come with auto shut off, too. So ah. if for any reason you sleep in or you decide to call in sick for work, they'll shut off on their own. Will it make me breakfast as well? <laughs> Because I need the one that does that. Okay, well, yeah, we'll work on that. work on that? <laughs> okay, <All right>. good. <laughs> Thanks very much, Pat. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, well, up next, we will take you back to Ottawa. Seamus will have a tour for you of the new vegetable.